Good evening. I am addressing you tonight to ask you to use your 10 votes for the GSLP Liberal candidates so that we can form your government on the 9th of December. Our manifesto combines a whole range of policies for the next four years. But I want to concentrate on just two. Two that will happen immediately in January 2012. These two give you a clear-cut choice between the GSD and us. If you vote GSD, they will continue paying Gibraltarians on government schemes between 300 and 450 pounds a month. They will continue encouraging and welcoming the increase in frontier workers. They will boast there are more jobs than ever, but fail to tell you that over 5,000 full-time jobs have gone to frontier workers against 300 to Gibraltarians. They have provided in 15 years a mere 20 jobs a year for our people when over 300 youngsters complete their education and need work every year. Unemployment in our supposedly booming economy is 30% higher than in 1996. Rising unemployment, ever-increasing influx of frontier workers and cheap labour is what you will get if you vote GSD. The alternative from the 1st of February 2012 is a trainee employment contract that pays £912.60 to every school leaver, to the unemployed and to those on casual and supply terms. In parallel, the graduate strategy will provide employment with government in areas related to promoting economic growth and efficiency as well as inward investment and a higher monthly salary. The future job strategy will provide skills for which there will be jobs available on completion. The trainees and the research assistants will enjoy full employment rights under the Employment Act, rights which have, the GSD have taken away from the present government trainees. There could be as many as a thousand residents, mainly Gibraltarians and UK citizens, but also other nationalities eligible to apply for the positions under the future job strategy. We shall achieve full employment for residents and put a halt to the relentless annual increases in frontier workers, witnessed over the last 15 years. If this policy is not enough to persuade you, let me tell you what is going to happen to the charity Community Care if we don't become your government next month. Community Care was set up in 1989. I know because I helped to set it up. It received grants from the GSLP government until 1996. These grants paid all their expenses and left a surplus of 63 million pounds for community care to invest and have its own income. The GSD government stopped these grants, but in 1999, Mr. Caruana said, the government will top up the financial provision for community care to ensure they can continue without eating into their capital. In 2000, he said, the own member, meaning me, can rest assured that the commitment is that community care should not be in a position where it has to use capital to meet its annual outgoings and has always received comfort in that respect. However, last year, when the money had all run out, he admitted that he had been planning this all along. He said, it has been the government's policy for 15 years to run down the fund in community care so that we can make alternative and better arrangements. Better arrangements for whom? His promise to me, to our parliament, to the trustees and to you, the electorate, were all lies. He never intended to allow community care to keep its 63 million intact. He asked me to trust him and in the 2000 budget I did and he was lying. And in this year's budget, he has announced that his intention is to do away with community care. He said, with effect from next year, 
community care payments will become a statutory right and will be paid in conjunction with old age pensions. He says he wants to do this to prevent Spanish pensioners claiming community care. The way he intends to stop them claiming it is by paying it to them even before they claim it. I have challenged him in Parliament and in this campaign to admit that Spanish pensioners will perceive community care substitute payments in 2012 with the old age pension, but he refuses to answer. He does not admit or deny that this is what is going to happen. He cannot be permitted to want to get back into government without making a clear statement whether the replacement community care payments will apply only to residents, as it does now, or if he's going to pay Spanish pensioners. You are entitled to know this before you cast your vote. Just remember, we had already reached 6,329 frontier workers and they will get old age pensions from their social insurance contributions and if Mr. Garruana has his way, community care payments also. If this is the Caruana alternative, then it will become the ticking time bomb and an impossible economic burden for our children and grandchildren to meet. Your vote for the GSD is a vote for this alternative scenario. I urge you to think carefully about these two policies where you have clear-cut options as to the consequences of how you vote. If you want to improve and protect the future of our school leavers and retaining graduates, and you want to see the continuation of community care for residents only, as it has been in the last 22 years, then the only way that you can guarantee this is to vote Balvan, Bosano, Brusson, Cortés, Costa, García, Licudi, Linares, Picardo, Sacramento. Thank you for is in our hands Take a good look around Be someone that hears our demands This time we can make it count There is hope in the air There's a will to declare That it's time for change Thank you.